Morning everyone. Today I want to go photograph at a nearby lock and I'm going to show you guys how you can use some of the Chagapan gear to basically get into the water because sometimes you can't actually lie down next to the water. It might be marshy, wet, it might be reed beds, it might be steep down so you can't actually lie down at the shore of the water. So today we're going to be using some of the Tragopan gear to actually just get into the side of the water where it's quite shallow and for that we're going to be using the Coffas chair which is made of um, stainless steel and aluminium has also been treated uh, with a rust free coating so I should be fine to put in the water and won't rust over time uh, for that furthermore I'm going to be using the tripod waders for my tripod to put into the water and I'm going to use a couple of these camo nets here to hang up um, I got two of them here actually um, we're going to hang them up uh, in nearby trees just along the edge of the water. I'm going to be sitting in the water with a chair um, so that it gets me a little bit lower and uh, I'm going to bring some, some wellies here as well and so I'm just going to get everything in to the Tragopan uh, Tetris 500 backpack uh, just to make sure everything fits there and then we'll make our way down to the lock. So I got a couple of mallards in the little reeds in front of me. And I think there's a couple of little grebes as well. I should tighten this a bit more because it's blowing into me. I have to try and wrap it around the tripod to keep it more um, tight so it doesn't blow that much. But other than that, this is a pretty good setup. It's a weird feeling to actually be in the water, but it does really work. What's really great is that this area behind me is just tick infested. I got a lot of ticks on me already, um, just from walking through it. So actually sitting here in this water now <laughs> protects me a little bit from them. What's really good with this as well, it gives me really a, a view, a really good view every direction.
I had the grey legs come around. There's one female mallard with two young ones, which is a shame because I was out here a few weeks back, maybe a month back, when the young ones were tiny. And there must have been eight or nine of them. I can't believe only two survived. And then there is a pair of little grebe here. And I had one just out on this little island in the middle here. And then it disappeared. I think they might be nesting on that island. Um, so that's quite interesting. And I think I hear a grey wagtail right now. But yeah, some interesting stuff here. And I know that ospreys are nesting nearby. So there's all obviously opportunities for things, you know, fast things to happen suddenly. Um, that's why it's, uh, this is actually a really good setup like this because I can see around me in all direction through the net. So it's quite open and I notice now that things are getting close. They didn't really notice me here. I've been sitting here for a while now so I can't get used to it and uh, um, things don't really seem to be bothered by me here. Another thing that I would like is a little grebe. So I'm going to spend a bit more time out here and hopefully I can get some photos of them as well. All right, time to pack this up. I unfortunately I didn't get a photo of the little grebe. They were here. They were close by. One of them was close by. I just sat very still and then it dove under and I never saw it again. Um, there's, there's quite a bit of grass, there's a reed, something like that over there. It may be inside there. It may have just swam quite far away and it's just out of reach. Um, it's been a good morning though. I spent, good few, I spent a good few hours here and, and right now the sun is just coming through a lot. It's supposed to be an overcast day. That's why I picked this day. And it's quite wind still. That's, um, some of the good days to work at locks like this is when it's wind still, overcast day, uh, or unless, of course, you hear it um, first thing in the morning or last thing in the evening with some golden light. This here is a very good lock as well because it's surrounded by trees, so that even on fairly windy days, the wind just kind of held at bay and you get pockets of this crystal clear water. So ideally, that's what you want when you're working at locks like this. It's that crystal clear water so you can get reflections of this of the water birds that are on here it's looking just more and more blue skies now so i'm getting that harsh light it's about midday so i'm gonna head back for lunch i think i kind of got what i came for i got some good images got some footage i've really enjoyed this and just trying this out this particular lock here actually it's it's actually fine to be lying down uh, a lot of areas around here uh, there's a flat even surface that you could lie down. So today though, I just wanted to show you guys that if you're working on a lock that uh, that doesn't have areas for you to lie down right next to it. Um, very often that's the case because a lot of them are quite wet, they're marshy, they've got reeds or something like that. Then, you know, having the cockless chair, uh, putting it into the reeds or you know, just at the edge of them just at the edge of the water, and then using caminets like this, and just tying it to whatever you can find. And then these tripod waders, it's been really not good as well, because it just protects my um, tripod from all the kind of silt that's in this water. It's not, you know, when you get down into it, it's not very clean uh, water. So it obviously depends where you work at, but these can be quite beneficial then, because it just keeps my tripod, first of all, it keeps it dry, um, and then, but also more importantly, it keeps uh, it keeps that silt out of it because you don't want that getting into the actual connections because then it gets all you know it gets all squeaky and doesn't tighten properly and stuff like that. So, and I'm getting quite low, which is really nice. I'm getting a nice angle of view. Obviously, you could get lower, but for me, then I would need to have like chest weight or something like that. I would just sit into lock itself, bring the chair and just sit in. Anyways, I'm going to pack this thing up and I'll put description, I'll put in links in the description below for all the equipment, all the Tragopan gear that I've been using in this video. You can head to the website tragopan-shop.com for Europe and most of the world. And if you're in the US, it's photographyblinds.com. So, links are below. 
links to both websites are, I'll show you at the end of the video plus I'll show it in the description so you can just click through and get what you need. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you haven't seen this before then please consider subscribing. Every month I come out with another video where I take Tragopan products out into the field and take photos of wildlife. So join me again next month and I'll see you then. Bye.